Uh, EC3 is also making his NXT debut next week. He'll be doing so against Raul Mendoza. Kona Reeves. Speaking of debuts, Kona Reeves made his NXT re-debut against Patrick Scott. Kona calls himself The Finest. That's his nickname now. He is The Finest Kona Reeves, as opposed to all those other people that go by Kona Reeves. Uh, Now, I know he's The Finest, or he calls himself that. How do I know this? I know this because he shouted it no less than four different times during this match. And I am in agreement with the other people I've seen make this comparison. You look at this guy now, the way he looks, the long, he grew his hair out, he's got the white you know, jacket and all that. I look at this guy now, and he just comes across to me as a make. I'm not talking talent here, I'm just talking you know, just physically what he's wearing and how he looks. He comes across as a mix of John Morrison and Hiromu Takahashi from New Japan, only without the cat. I'm not even sure Daryl could have helped him here, honestly. Uh, he looked okay in this match. I mean, look, he's a guy, I, I'm on record as saying this before, and hold it against me if it turns out that the guy is a bust, but I am on record way, way back talking about Kona Reeves and the fact that I think this guy has star potential. But he's got a long way to go before he gets there. He's nowhere near star potential. Not right now, but he can be. That's what NXT is supposed to be for. It kind of gets lost in, in the noise here, but you know, you get all this talent, Adam Cole and EC3 and Ricochet and, and NXT is sort of the place to be for a lot of these stars who come from the indies or come from other promotions. You know, Very few people make the transition directly to WWE's main roster without passing through NXT first. AJ Styles did it. Um, you know, there, there are a few others who have, but usually you come through NXT, but NXT is really supposed to be a breeding ground and a training ground of sorts to get people like Kona Reeves prepared to go to the main roster, <clears throat> you know, and prepared to be a star. So we can look at guys like him in NXT and think, oh, this, this guy sucks. You know, he's terrible. Look at him. He's bland. He's basic. He's this. He's that. You know, get rid of him. You don't get rid of him. You keep him in NXT and you let him ply his craft. And I think in due time, this guy can can be a player. I really do. I think he can he can be something, but I didn't see it here in this match. He didn't look particularly good. His finisher, by the way, is a modified Samoan drop that he calls the Hawaiian drop. Which no. Just just no. No. He's a work in progress. <clears throat> 